Okay, so we've gone ahead and set up the Blu-ray player, and we've marked up our sheet accordingly, our UMC setup log. You can see Source 1 has been changed to Blu-ray, and it is visible. The audio comes from HDMI. The video comes from HDMI 1. We haven't changed the input level or the lip sync, and the trigger is set to amp 1 on, and the EQ mode is set to off. So the next input we're going to uh, work on here is uh, input 2 or source 2. We're going to change the name to HD SAT and we're going to uh, set the uh, input configuration to what I have marked down here. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We'll bring up our menu, go to setup, and again we're using our joystick controls. Up, down, left, right, and enter. input name, so it's source 2 that we've chosen to change. Go left arrow and then go ahead and spell out H D set. Goes, goes pretty quick once you get the hang of it. You can use lowercase or all capitals, whatever you uh, like. We're going to hit the return button and go back and now drop down to input setup. And there it is. So source 2 has now been labeled HD SAT. We're going to come over to the right, make sure that that input is visible. We're going to drop down and, and uh, see where the audio is set to. It's set to HDMI and that's good. And uh, the video is set to HDMI 2 from the factory so we don't have to change that either. Uh, input level will leave at zero until we actually give our system a listen and see if it needs any adjustment. Lip sync will leave at zero because this is a new satellite receiver that should be able to sync through the HDMI cable. And then the trigger will set amp one to on and we'll connect that cable to our amplifier. Trigger in and then we'll come back over here and leave our EQ mode to none. So that input is set up also. So let's return out of there. And we'll take our cable. This is the hard part. HDMI out to HDMI number two in. And there we are. So this system is configured to run two inputs, uh, Blu-ray on HDMI 1 and satellite on HDMI 2. And uh, we saw all the steps to setting up the input configuration. And uh, let's take a look at some other items on here.